All right, guys, behind me is another example of the Calendulaceum azalea. Uh, on this trip to Wine Spring Bulb, uh, we're kind of switching gears looking for the arborescence, but we have come across quite a few Calendulaceum here. Uh, if you are interested in the Calendulaceum, make sure you check out our uh, Hooper Bald adventure where we saw all the great variances that come uh, from Hooper's Bald and that Calendulaceum. So, once again, Wesley put, uh, went at, uh, looked ahead and spotted this granddaddy back here. It is huge and absolutely beautiful. And this is one of the first ones that's really more in full in bloom right now. I mean, you see some blooms coming on on it, but this one's in full bloom and beauty right now. Uh, and this thing's huge. I mean, huge for a sweet azalea that we've seen so far. I mean, the trunks on it, they're just twisting and contorting, going up, forming this natural beauty on them by themselves. And then the blooms with those red stamens. I mean, that's just spectacular. Is that a, you see that one back there? It's got sort of like a, a green fingers oh, to it. Yeah. Are those? This one does too, a little bit, but nowhere near like this one. But these are just kind of barely popping there. That makes sense. It really came out yet. So th th there's another one back there that has almost like the, the bloom trusses that are coming up are a little more green and uh, looks like they're just starting, haven't really started turning a lot of white color to them yet. It might be a little bit later blooming arborescence likely, uh, but really cool to see this huge specimen here. And uh, I mean, this is probably one of the, this is the biggest arborescence we've seen yet. Uh, that may change by the end of this trip, <laughs> but right now this is our, our, our granddaddy of them so far. Yeah, I mean, and this thing is probably f close to 15 feet tall, probably 15 feet spread too. Hey, this is amazing. So while Brian was filming that last little clip, Wesley spotted all of Granddad's family. There's an army of rhododendron arborescence all through here. The sweet azalea, the sweet aroma is just super fragrant. You can hear the bees just flying around everywhere out here. And uh, we're gonna get back in here, see what we can find, see if we see any variability. See if we, uh, I mean, this is just a forest of rhododendron arborescence in bloom. It's, it's pretty amazing. All right guys, so right now we've got some beautiful Calendus Laceum Azalea and uh, the arborescence behind us. I'm learning all these words. You know, I'm not an, an Azalea expert, but I'm learning a lot out here and it's really helped us, I think all of us, to really dig a little deeper into Azaleas 
and how they represent out here in nature. It's a beautiful thing to see all the variations of it. And uh, I mean, the deeper we go into here, the more variety we see, the more specimen sizes we see. It's absolutely beautiful. So when we talk about doing deep dives in our videos, this is what we're talking about. We're deep diving into the woods to check out all these amazing azaleas. We're coming up on a shift in what we have here. We have the beautiful sweet azaleas out front here. And then what do we got on just above the horizon right there? We've got some rhododendron calendulacea. So it's gonna be a cool divide between the beautiful whites beautiful orange. Let's go check it out. All right guys, so as we were trekking through the arborescence forest, we spotted this one over here that seemed a little bit wider than the rest of them. And on uh, closer inspection, we find that uh, the, the stamens in this one are actually white, while the pistil has remained that red color, giving it a little bit wider of appearance. Uh, appearance. And this is, uh, even though it's very slight, this is the first variant that we found in this arborescence. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on our hike up Wine Springs Bald. Yeah, so we've hiked several miles uphill following the power lines. We've seen so many beautiful azaleas up there. It's like just, I felt like it was just a little piece of heaven. You know, for me, like this was a great experience today. I don't know what you guys thought about today, but I just thought it was amazing. I, the hike up the power lines, once you got up past that first field, you got to that first field, all those native visco uh, native arborescence, uh, the sweet azalea, that was killer to see all those. That granddaddy. Yeah. I mean, that was probably my favorite thing from the hike. Uh, I think I think we could spend all day coming down and checking out all the native flame azaleas coming down this trail, coming down on this side. I mean, on the left side, yeah. on this side of the trail, coming down the road. Uh, but I really hope you've liked today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I share this with the gardening friends. If you like native azaleas, make sure to subscribe to the weekly emails on mrmaple.com. We add 10 fun flowering uh, items every Friday, and many of those are native azaleas. So if you love native azaleas, make sure to get signed up for that because we've got some amazing, amazing azaleas coming down the pipeline. And we offer some of the straight species of the Calendulaceum, the native flame azalea, and the rhododendron uh, arborescence the native sweet azalea that we've seen today. So make sure you sign up for those weekly emails. Uh, you can shop on mrmaple.com. It's the best way to support this channel. Uh, the second best way is by sharing this with your gardening friends. Take care. God bless. Have a good day.